So here I'm at Skydive Arizona in Eloy, Arizona. I got four jumps in today. I just missed the sunset load. It's about to actually go up right now. It's off in the distance and it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, Tyler and Yanni are on that, but yeah, right now, um, getting into skydiving, it is really easy, especially here in Arizona. There's, I think it was three, thousand square miles of parachute activity from um, just south of Phoenix all the way through Marana. So if you take the I-10 from Phoenix southbound to Tucson, over the course there um, you have Scott Ive Phoenix, you have Coolidge Airport that has jump activity. You have here, obviously, um, at Skydive Arizona. You have Casa Grande with military jumps. You have Marana out there. They're actually opening up fun jumpers here at uh, the beginning of this year, so I need to call down and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of activity that goes on here. So it's very easy to meet educated people who know what they're doing who can show you the ropes and get you started in this industry. Uh, skydiving is definitely more of a sport and hobby than it is a career choice. Uh, there's definitely ways to make money skydiving. You can be a coach so you could help people with their jumps. You could be a tandem instructor where you take people up, obviously tandem and do jumps with them. There's different ways to do camera jumps to follow tandems or I don't know, someone wants to pay you to be a camera guy. You could do that, but you know, I think that's about it. Like, there's oh, you could pack behind me. There's the pack jobs, so people have concession stands and will pack parachutes for you. And it's like six, seven, eight bucks per pack job, so people can make good money who are efficient at packing. So here goes that sunset load right over here. It's about to take off. Pretty neat. Meow. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. But yeah, um, there's an ASP program, Accelerated Skydive program. There's an AFF program, which is Accelerated Free Fall. So there's a little bit difference in the two. The ASP program includes tandem jumps where you're able to jump with an instructor first to kind of get the nerves out of the way and then learn how to fly your canopy underneath with them helping you with the controls so you're a little bit more comfortable when you go out and throw on a parachute yourself and start jumping um, the program here is the asp here at skydive arizona uh, they have a few ways you can go about it but they will get you through your 25 jumps to get your a license here um, so you can see here on the pamphlet that i was talking about um, for 3600 bucks They'll take you through 25 jumps. All right, so you have your 10 minutes of tunnel time, which is, I think, a huge benefit, especially if you've never flown before, since it gives you the ability to understand how you have to fly your body in order to stay stable inside um, your airspace when you're flying and f essentially falling to the ground, right? Um, if you start spinning out of control, it's not going to be good when you throw out your parachute and you twist up all your lines. That's would be a terrible thing to have happen on your first jumps. Um, but yeah, they get you through with a coach for 11 jumps. So that's cool to get a few jumps under your belt. I'm not sure if you need to go through their phase two training or just phase one um, to just even get your solo status and start jumping. But they have the things here where you have the option. Uh, I believe I checked online if you wanted to do just individual jumps themselves. It's like 155 bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm sure you need to do gear rentals and stuff like that. But the ASP jump was 155 bucks. Um, if you fail one of these jumps, I'm not sure if you have to repay for that jump itself. So I'm not sure if this is all inclusive, even the fail jumps or what. Um, just something to to consider when going to figure out where you want to do your jumps at and go for it and budgeting purposes, right? Um, Gear rentals here, I think when I came, it was 110 bucks, 120 bucks for the gear rentals at square two. That's uh, a little spot on the 
behind this building here. But yeah, you can get all your gear rentals. They have a few different canopies that you can choose from containers, so they size it to you. But um, you need to get a packer to put it together since they give it to you all separated. So with that aspect, it's a little bit more annoying, especially when you're a first time jumper or a very new jumper since you don't really have an understanding of what you're doing. And coming to a bigger drop zone like this, um, you might be a little bit intimidated maybe to have people help you get situated with your gear. But everybody here is out there to help. So if you just ask, I'm sure someone will help you out or pay a backer to do it. There's the load going up. Uh, yeah, but it is pretty neat learning how to jump. It is a little bit scary to begin with, but yeah, with that, the tunnel time to help you get stable and then a good group of people to help you learn. You know, it's kind of Arizona is a world renowned drop zone. You'll have top quality individuals here to help coach you and make sure that you're doing everything right. Since, like I said in my other video, um, skydiving is inherently safe if you make sure you're doing everything right. Oh, hop and pop. You got one hop and pop. Look at that guy. Or girl. It's cool. Yeah, maybe they'll come land down in front of me and you can check it out. Um, I did my training over at Skydive Phoenix. It's a little bit more northeast from here, or northwest, sorry. Um, their program is the AFF program, so you do seven jumps with an instructor. Uh, the first three jumps, you're with two instructors, one on your, your main pullout side, and one on your reserve handle side, so in the event something were to go wrong, they could pull for you, since if you don't know how to fly and you start spinning, blah, 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 you'll need some instructors there. But as you jump, you get more comfortable, uh, you start getting more stable, you need to do 90 degree turns, 180 degree turns, 360s left and right. Um, you need to show that you're able to get unstable and unstable again by doing uh, some flips, some barrel rolls, stuff like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, especially with your first jumps because it's like you literally you gotta just you gotta just hock it you just gotta go for it now there's really no other way of putting it um i feel like i was privileged because i got tunnel time over at ifly since i worked there so i was able to fly my belly and my back by the time that i was going to uh skydive phoenix for the aff program I went over there probably two two years ago to get a pamphlet to try to start skydiving, but I just couldn't afford it at that time in my life, and I knew it was always something that I wanted to do. So I was thankful that uh, I was brought on at iFly and was able to start saving towards that. Here they come. Uh, it's not a swoop, but it's pretty cool. Meow. Ah, oh, graceful. Mm, nice. Very nice. Woo! That's one way to end a day. Um, but yeah, I was able to save up some money and then go. So, it was cool learning out there. It's a little different environment. I'm actually going there tomorrow. Um, today is Friday, January 11th. Tomorrow will be Saturday, January 12th. Um, I got four jumps in today. I'm expecting to do four jumps tomorrow. I'm trying to do four jumps every weekend so I can hit the 200 mark by the end of this year so I can start the wingsuit, uh, jumping with a camera and stuff like that or record some videos. Um, so I'm going to have a different shot of that drop zone for you tomorrow. Uh, what's cool about this spot too is that it has the original wind tunnel built by Sky Venture. So this one's a little bit different than the one at iFly since it takes the outside air and sucks it in through the bottom of the building and out through the top. Um, so it uses outside air at iFly, they recycle their air. So it's all self-contained type of deal. Um, so you don't get any hot air coming in through the bottom. So in the middle of the summertime, you don't lose lift and might not even be able to fly. Uh, so it's pretty neat, especially since they made that probably, I don't know, 30 years ago. I think they have the original one out in Orlando. I think uh, Brandy told me that they have the same style out in Tampa and I, I, or Orlando, and I flew with that one back in 2007 uh, with my grandparents when they 
when they took me out there. So that was pretty neat uh, being able to do that back in the day. But it's always it's always been something I wanted to do. Uh, if you don't know how to get into skydiving, uh, Skydive Arizona is probably the one that everyone's going to tell you to go to. Uh, they got everything you need and more. <laughs> Literally, there's a lot of extra shit that you don't need at skydiving, but it just it makes this small community uh, definitely a lot of fun. So I like to hate on it. It's, it's something I do, but yeah, definitely, definitely enjoyable. Once you get your um, solo status and you have your license and your own gear and you don't need to rent any gear, it's $26 to do jumps here um, on the Twin Otters or whatever they're running. So it's 26 bucks a jump. So you put your, I don't know, just say 1,800 to two grand down, or 3,500 if you want to go through the whole the whole process here. And then it's 26 bucks a jump. Lots of fun, good friends. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little walk around tour for you, and then come back outside, and they'll probably be jumping. Bum bum ba bum bum. All right, so this is obviously the main landing area. Not obviously, you wouldn't know. Uh, coming out here, you got the front entrance, the pack jobs, like I said. So it's pretty cool. So people camp out here. You can do whatever you want. I still can't remember what the, the food is. Twisted Barrel. I don't know. Axis Flight School. Um, teach you how to fly. They do some VFS stuff. It's pretty neat. Square 2 services for... Uh, the gear rental, a wellness center for massages and acupuncture. Talk about extra. Um, the food, like I said, you got the pool. Pool is pretty cool. Not right now, though. It's freezing cold. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, thank you. But it's definitely nice. Beautiful trees, slack line. What more do you want? Right, Cameron? Yeah, I need to practice. Some hoops. Lots of parking, trees to set up, kids out here. You got the general public coming out here just to watch people fly. Like, mm, doesn't get better than that, it's pretty neat. There's another landing area, a little bit more to the west behind the buildings over here. So for those who have sub 100 jumps, you're able to go there and land there. The main landing area is for those with 100 jumps or more. Here's the main hangar. Be able to pack it here. It's happening, man. Go manifest. Come back outside. Jump on your load. Oh, yeah. Did they jump yet? Did they jump yet? Not yet? No. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, and then people come out and jump. That's what you do. Coming out here and have some fun. I wonder how long it's going to take them to get up to altitude. Main landing area, sunset loads. Yeah, so today on the four jumps, uh, first jump I did with Yanni and Tyler, I carpooled down with them. Uh, they're both tunnel instructors at iFly, so Definitely outfly me easily, fuck. Um, so we try to do a three-way head down exit. So I was leaning outside the, the otter door with my arm up, one leg out the side. I grabbed Tyler's hand with my right arm and then Yanni was linked to my elbow or something. And then we just leaned out, leaned out, went and head down, uh, playing around. They were telling me that I need to suck my chest in a little bit more, collapse a little bit more um, instead of driving forward or backwards I think it was um, flying but yeah that blew up a little bit <gasps> and then we went turn to sit and we I think we touched a point or two but definitely fun flying with them the second turn around we did the same thing but this time it worked out a little bit better since I did uh, it was two way so it was me and Yanni together so with the same exit just me and him holding while Tyler was carving around us head down which is pretty neat um, I also blew that one up since I don't know how to fly head down yet. Uh, just like with the other, some of the other videos I posted, it's something I'm learning. Um, 
yeah, went to sit, and then we were able to, to come together. Um, we did a three-way point. Uh, me and Yanni set flying. Tyler was head down. He came in. It was pretty gnarly. Uh, broke off and pulled. Um, I, I had a new personal record for packing. I think I packed in like 15 minutes. It blew my mind. But then that very next jump, I had one line twist, and I was like, hmm, don't go too fast, John Paul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you get you get sloppy when you go fast. So, you know, just take your time. It's it's fun packing. It's Everything's supposed to go in a certain spot. So as long as it gets to where it needs to go and you flake everything out appropriately, you shouldn't have any issues, especially if you pack symmetrically and stick in the bag just right. Um, and stable body position. That's another thing, too. If you fly inside the tunnel and you don't turn at all when you're flying, um, you're able to throw out your pilot chute and not have any line twists because you're not spinning. So you're not setting yourself up for <laughs> failure when you pitch. Um, so yeah, that's important. That's why you should go at least get a few minutes of tunnel time in, regardless of where you go. If you have a tunnel nearby, I think it's something that I would highly recommend because it will save you money in the long run, especially if you're paying for jumps by the jump. Uh, if you're able to go in and, um, oh, canopies. You could hear them, they just, oh, so cool. Oh, oh. Oh, that's Yanni. So cool. Yeah, so I guess we will get to watch him swoop. Uh, yeah, definitely get tunnel time so you don't get any line twists and blow it up. I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I just love watching these guys. Oh, and the jumps. And then I did one solo jump. I just tucked a backflip out. I just flew out and it was pretty cool. It was like staying in the doorway and I just, I felt awesome. Um, just talking it, practice head down, kind of sucked. So then I just went and sit flying. Dicked around. It's definitely more fun to fly with people. So once you get your A license, you're able to fly with some people. So it's definitely worth getting your license instead of just doing it, I guess, part time. Just so you could have a little bit more fun uh, with your group of friends. And then the last jump I did, fourth jump. What the hell did we do? I don't remember. Soup. Oh. All right, here's Yanni. No, it's Tyler. Oh. That one wasn't as aggressive. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Who the hell is this? Cooking. Meow. <laughs> Holy shit. These guys are flying. Where's Yanni? Oh, he's already down. No, he's not. He's yellow. Where'd Yanni go? He's under a different canopy. Oh, that's him right there, right? Oh, okay. I was wondering. I was like, what? All right. Yeah, they're all down. How was the jump? What's up? Was it good? Yeah. Turned into a no plan jam. Could be worse. All right. Anyway. Have a great day. And check out Skydive Arizona for all your skydiving needs and to learn since learning is fun especially when you get to do it with everyone <laughs> okay bye all right cool we're here at skydive phoenix inside the little classroom here i'm with the instructor so, chris nielsen he's the man on? he helped me with my aff so you have the asp aff program over on this wall so you got everything that you need to do so you come in here and get briefed, and then you ask your instructor, hey, what's the number one thing I don't want to do on this jump? You don't want to die on the jump. You don't want to die. So I think we'll good time. If you, you do, do that, fun. you'll be just fine. Just fine. So we're leaving the classroom and checking it out. <laughs>
It's pretty cool here. You got manifest. Say hello. We got a few minutes. This list is landing. We got one more load. We got the packing area here. On the inside of the building, we got all the, the tandems going on over in here. So it's pretty cool, a lot of activity. We got some pretty sweet track and jumps going on today. So, here in Skydive Phoenix. That's pretty neat. The plane just took off, going up. So, you got some tandems coming in. That's Jason right there. He was my instructor for the AFF program. Pretty neat. They just added this outdoor packing area. So it's just a little strip of artificial grass. I didn't use it today. It's a little bit breezy. So I'm not trying to have my parachute get away from me when I'm packing because I'd be a pain in the ass having to pack and repack. So yeah, dude, totally making a YouTube. Yeah. So I'm with these guys. So it was a lot of fun today. We did some angle flying. But yeah, you come. I think I spent 1500 bucks for the AFF program. So it's seven jumps, uh, first three with an instructor, and then you do four uh, with one instructor, and then you're on solo status. But you still need to reach 25 jumps to get from solo student status to license. So once you're licensed, you can jump anywhere you want. Uh, it's pretty neat. So the, some, from seven jumps to 25 um, with gear rental, it might be another grand or whatnot but it's really all dependent on what you want to do you don't want to downsize too fast that can be dangerous you don't want to be like me and get a big head when you jump um yeah but it's a lot of fun so definitely a great spot this is where i learned a lot of fun they're running the pack 750 so it gets up to altitude pretty quick but yeah other than that come out hang out every saturday baby